Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about electrostatics. Uh, so, starting off with electric charge, well, there are two types of electric charge. There is positive and negative. Uh, positive charged objects have lost electrons. Negatively charged objects have gained electrons because electrons have got a negative charge. So if you gain something that's negatively charged, you, the object itself is going to become negatively charged. And if you remove something that's negatively charged from something that's neutral, you're going to leave a positive charge behind. Uh, well, electrostatic attraction, uh, the rules uh, for electrostatic attraction are that opposite charges attract. So negative and positive charges will attract, whereas like charges such as negative and negative are going to repel. Uh, the unit of charge. Well, the unit of charge is something called the Coulomb. Uh, one electron has an incredibly tiny charge. It's 1.6 times 10 to the minus uh, 19 Coulombs. And in fact, it takes uh, 6.25 million million electrons to make a Coulomb of charge. Electric fields. An electric field uh, is a region in which an electric charge will experience a force. So the direction of the electric field at a point is the direction of the force on a positive charge at that point. So our positive charge will feel a force of attraction in the direction of the field, whereas something that's negatively charged will be attracted in the opposite direction. Well, we're going to need to look at a few uh, simple uh, field patterns. So around point charges, well, a positive point charge, the field lines all go outwards. Uh, and around a negative charge, the field lines all go inwards. Uh, around a, uh, a sphere, uh, that's uh, well, a charge conducting sphere, uh, this is the pattern that you'd see. And if you had two plates, one that's positively charged and one that's negatively charged, and those two metal plates were brought close to each other, this is the field that you would see. And this is what we call a uniform field going from positive to negative. Uh, charging by induction. So to charge a metal sphere, you first place a charged rod nearby. Uh, you then uh, disconnect, so you then connect and then disconnect an earth wire to remove the electron. So you place the negatively charged rod near there, uh, near the sphere. Uh, the electrons that are on the sphere are repelled by the electrons in the rod. And then what you do is you connect the earth wire. The electrons will, uh, or some of the electrons will migrate off the earth wire. You then remove the uh, earth wire and you leave a positively charged uh, sphere behind. Okay, and finally, uh, simple electron models uh, uh, of conductors and insulators. Well, with a conductor, uh, a conductor such as metals have got free electrons that can move through the material, whereas with an insulator uh, such as plastic, they've got no free electrons, but you can transfer electrons by rubbing. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.